No, what we're actually voting on, it says that the house has to be placed parallel with A Street. That's what we're voting on. We're not voting on a 70-foot trailer. We're voting on the nine recommendations set forth by, by the city uh, staff. But he's talking about a 70-foot trailer. We couldn't put that parallel. But, it, but what we actually uh, considered the ordinance is this one here, and this says, that's, that's am correct. I correct, Mr. Hanks? That's correct. That, that this says that, that if it goes on there, it has to be parallel with A Street. Well, that's why I say, I, mean, now, I understand what things, that's why I'm saying I was not support this ordinance. But this ordinance says that it has to be parallel to the street, and that means the 70 foot cannot go in there. So you would vote for this? No. <laughs> I want to vote this because you can't put the 70 foot trailer parallel to the street because it's only on the 50 foot lot. And that's what this ordinance said that it would, just, it would have to go. Mm -hmm. How could it go with the 70 foot? He would have to change and get a different size manufactured home. Is that not that's what this ordinance right. says? Right. This ordinance right. says it would have to be different. So, but you can't, <coughs> that's what this says. It, it can't be the 70 foot, it has to be. <coughs> okay, so now that is correct, Mr. Patrick. In regards to what you're voting on today, you're voting on the one block. It would be physically impossible to do the recommendation that was uh, brought by staff by doing it on that one block. So therefore, it would be my opinion that if you feel that that is as the presented plan, you would not vote for the CUP. You would deny the CUP, and then the applicant could come back with a new request for a new CUP that would change the dimensions, or would change the location, or would change the actual manufactured home. But I feel that the appropriate action of council does not feel that it is appropriate to place a 70 foot trailer on it in a perpendicular fashion would be to deny the CUP. That's basically what I. That, uh, Try to convey that. That's why I would not go for this. And if he wanted to put something there, he could bring it back to the city. If, if the application actually included more locks, then yes, you could vote on it to say this is the way it should be if we're going to have a manufactured home. But because of the fact that it only applies to the one lock, because it would be physically impossible to do a, an orientation of the the length, let's say towards A Street, then I would recommend you would deny the CUP and allow the applicant, the applicant to come back with a new one. I just want to be sure that we all understand what the, because I've got two different stories here. So. If I might have a moment yes. to refer with the attorney. Yes, sir. I think that's what the staff is anticipating is that even though the application expresses specifically said they accept the account 14. The way the ordinance and recommendation is written, it, it would not allow a 7 by 14, but it assumes that if the CEP would be granted, the applicant would then go purchase a 40 foot wide manufactured home, which you could then put on the lot. Well, and I understand the rationale there. However, I think mm -hmm. if, if you go with that type of presumption, you're losing some control as to what actually comes next. And I would recommend then that because of the fact this applies to one lot, and it applies to any of the other conditions there are saying you need to reorientate, because it can't be done with this one lot, I think it would be procedurally better to go forward and deny the CUP and allow a new application. Well, let's be clear. He can, in fact, orient a manufactured home 40 feet in width to A Street and fit it onto the lot. But that's not what he has asked for. Correct, but the applicant knew before the forwarding was to be forwarded to the staff, and I think that I, I don't want to speak for the applicant, and I don't want to make an erroneous assumption, but I think he's taking his, his he wants to ferret out what the council thinks. And I think council has so far expressed, at least one council member has, as far as what they would support and what they would not support. You can make that too. I, I agree. I'm, I concur. <clears throat> Problem. Well, then, if I'm understanding correctly, you would, you would recommend to council that they deny this application if they feel that they 
want an orientation of a mobile home or a manufactured home, such as it would have to face A Street with a 70 foot trailer. I would agree with that. All right, so I think we understand. So, <laughs> and, and as Mr. Lucin has previously said, um, what we're voting on is he's asked for a 70 foot trailer to go in, but it would not be facing A Street. So we're voting on whether or not for that for, for that ordinance. We all want to stand on the same page? Yes, sir. All right. So all in favor of adopting the ordinance granting additional use permit, please say aye. Any opposed? Aye. aye. It's rejected by vote.